As Boris Johnson takes over from Theresa May to lead the UK, Christian leaders from across the country are calling for prayers for their new British Prime Minister, particularly at a time of so many divisions among the government and the public over issues like Brexit. One of those spearheading that call to intercede for the country's new leader is National Day of Prayers Jonathan Oliedi. He has organised several stadium prayer rallies in the capital city and in 2010 he shared the platform with Boris Johnson when he first became Mayor of London. Four days into his premiership as mayor, he was prayed for on the platform and that was such a powerful moment. Boris Johnson is one of the leaders that the church has prayed for perhaps the most. The, the Christians and everyone who prays should pray over him for favour and grace to deliver Brexit, preferably with a deal from the EU, so that the impact on Britain as she leaves will be less uh, negative economically. Christians would have uh, disagreements with some of his policy stances, and they would want to be pushing that he doesn't advance a more liberal agenda uh, once in government. Um, but I think some people will also be looking for Boris Johnson to look beyond Brexit in his policy stance. So he's not just looking at leaving the European Union, but how can he stand for social justice in our communities? How can he stand on the side of the poorest in our country? Well, I think for us, some of the areas that will particularly interest us to do with the value of life, for example, um, we're deeply concerned by what's happened in Northern Ireland recently. We'd like to see a much greater respect for the value of life uh, across the whole of the United Kingdom. When it comes to free speech, it's absolutely essential that free speech as a principle is upheld. We need to be free to insult each other we need to be free to disagree with each other. If we're not, that is the kind of hallmark of a totalitarian regime, and that's the kind of direction we don't want to be going in. Uh, we are looking forward to the publication of a major report looking at uh, what it's like to be a Christian in Britain today. Uh, that will make recommendations as well to the new Prime Minister, to the Cabinet. We expect them to be taken seriously. So it's hoped these united prayers for the country's leadership will play a key role in bringing godly values in this nation. Peter Wooding for the Global News Alliance.